All right, well, how's it going, everybody? We are continuing our series in Exodus, and we have kind of a little goofy, funny trick to memorizing the Ten Commandments. It's interesting how few people today would have the Ten Commandments memorized. So what I did is I shared a little bit of a tool as to how we could memorize the Ten Commandments. And again, it's a little bit goofy, but I wanted to record a video and show that to you today. So let's go. Ten Commandments, all right. So how do we remember the Ten Commandments? Given in order, and again, most people don't have these down, most people don't have them in order, and that's okay. This is not for salvation, you know, this is for spiritual formation. The way we memorize this is by creating a picture. So the first commandment is to not have any other gods. It just happens to be the number one, and it has to do with only having one God. So the number one actually helps you remember the first commandment, which is to have one God and no other gods. Number two, though my handwriting is horrible, I'm gonna do my best here. Got the number two, turn it into a snake, draw the two into a little coiled snake if you want, and um, there you go. Number two, do not have any engraven images. So if I like, if I was to like worship the snake god or something and carve this two into the image of a snake. And so you think two snake idol. Okay, so the second commandment is not to have, not to make any idols. Horrible, I know, but bear with me. Number three is gonna be a little bit easier for me because I don't have to really draw anything. But you have the number three. There it is, booyah. So the number three actually can become a B. That's not a magic trick. I did that without even cutting the camera. B for the word blasphemy. Do not take the name of the Lord in vain. Do not commit blasphemy. L A. No good. B for blasphemy. Wow. I thought my writing was good, but it just looks like hieroglyphics or something. Anyway, moving on. The three becomes a B to help you remember blasphemy. Oh man, this is, this is like gold, right? This is good stuff. You've already got three memorized. Number four. Oh man, four is hilarious, right? So you can draw a four this way and then you can turn it into a sailboat. What are you gonna do on your day off but go sailing, right? Should I attempt a rudder on this thing? What does the rudder look like? So this is what people would do on their day of rest. And then number four helps you remember that the fourth commandment is to honor the Sabbath. Just like God honored the Sabbath, go take a day of rest. Go sailing, man. Now number five, check this out, this is kind of funny. There's the number five, or pretty close to a five. And if you put a little belly button, I don't know if you can see that, but once you put a belly button on the five, it almost looks like a pregnant belly. You know, like when your mom was pregnant with you, she had a little bit of a belly, a little bit of belly, not a, not a big belly at all. You think, oh, when my mom was pregnant with me, she had a belly. Number five will help you remember to honor your father and mother. When you turn the five, into kind of like a mom five. A number six, we're gonna just do a six. We're gonna turn the six into a golf club. I know that this looks nothing like a golf club. Bear with me here, I'm not a golfer or a drawler. The number six becomes a golf club. You could beat somebody over the head with a golf club. If you did, you might murder them. Number six, golf club, do not murder people, okay? Don't bang people over the head with a club that might murder them, okay? Number seven is gonna require a little bit of maturity for us here. It's just gonna stay that way and it's going to reference the seven year itch. This is where it becomes a little bit PG-13. The seven year itch is um, the tendency that some people have to cheat on their spouse, okay? Seven years into marriage, some people have a tendency to cheat on their spouse. That would be adultery and that's not okay. That is about as much detail as I'm gonna give you if you need more, you can talk to your parents. The number seven, seven year itch, adultery, don't commit adultery. Okay, so I don't draw my eights like this, but I'm gonna attempt it. So you can draw an eight like this. Oh my gosh, yeah, sorry. If you then kind of flip that sideways, you can turn that eight into like handcuffs. You might get handcuffed if you steal something because stealing is illegal. And so there's your 
Number eight, turned into handcuffs. Don't steal. You're gonna get clapped in irons if you steal. Moving right along. Nine requires a little bit of creativity here, but bear with me. So nine, if I flip it this way, it's supposed to look like Pinocchio's nose. If you can imagine Pinocchio here, um, maybe, I don't know. Because when Pinocchio lies, his nose grows. And so nine is about bearing false witness. Do not lie. And I'm not gonna attempt it again because I feel like the more attempts I have, the worse it's gonna get. So just bear with me on nine. So 10 is gonna, is gonna be fairly easy, I, I hope. There's a one and a zero, and we can draw a little bit of an eyeball here. And the zero is looking over at the number one. It sees what the number one has and covets it because the zero has nothing and the one has something. The zero is looking at the one and coveting what the number one has. And so the 10th commandment is do not covet. And so there you go. Now, I bet if you pause the video right now and thought about it, you have all 10 commandments memorized because you have a visual cue. You have a visual tool to use to help you remember them. There is this pattern of our relationship with God and our relationship with other people, these are connected to one another. That as our relationship with God grows, we better display his image to the people around us. I think that's a fascinating and wonderful thing. Uh, that's it for now. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for coming and watching and hanging out with us and being a part of this community. I really do appreciate it. It's been awesome. I'm having a lot of fun, so I hope you are too. So see you later.